Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to factor this uh, given uh, expression completely. And here's our expression x power 4 minus uh, y power 4 plus 4 y square minus 4. And once again, we are going to find the factors completely. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's make an observation. We can see we got uh, x power 4 and uh, y power 4. And now let's recall the power rule of exponents. Uh, if we have uh, x power m and then power n. In other words, if we have these uh, nested exponents, then this could be written as uh, x power m times n. And we are going to apply this power rule on these uh, two terms, x power 4 and y power 4. So therefore, we could write x power 4 as uh, x power 2 and then power 2 once again. And then likewise, uh, y power 4 could be written as uh, y square and then power 2. So therefore, we could write this whole expression as uh, x power 2 and then power 2 minus uh, likewise y power 2 and then power 2 and then plus uh, 4y square and then minus uh, 4. And since we are going to find the factors, so I have to manipulate uh, this expression. So I am going to tweak uh, this part uh, first. So therefore, I am going to chunk uh, this part uh, by just putting the brackets uh, over here. And now watch out, we got a minus sign outside. So therefore, we have got to be very careful. So therefore, uh, this whole uh, expression uh, inside this bracket could be written as uh, y square and then uh, square and this uh, positive sign is going to become minus sign for y square and this negative becomes uh, positive 4. So therefore uh, this expression could be written as x power 2 and then power 2 and then minus uh, with a bracket uh, and that's going to be y square and then square and then minus uh, 4y square and then plus uh, 4. And now let's focus on this part uh, inside this uh, bracket. And here I have copied down this uh, trinomial. And now let's recall this famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2 times a b plus b square. And we are going to apply this uh, identity on this given uh, trinomial. And here we can see 4 could be written as uh, 2 square. So therefore, uh, this whole thing uh, could be written as uh, y square minus uh, 2 whole square. So thus, uh, this uh, whole uh, trinomial inside uh, this uh, bracket uh, turns out to be y square minus 2 whole square. So therefore, we could write this one as uh, x square and then uh, square uh, once again and minus uh, this whole uh, thing uh, could be written as uh, y square minus uh, 2 whole square. And now let's recall uh, another identity a square minus b square could be written as uh, a plus b times a minus b. In other words, the difference of two squares is always equal to the product of sum and the difference. And if I call this uh, x square as our lowercase a and this part uh, y square minus 2 as uh, lowercase b, then we can write uh, this one as uh, x uh, square and then uh, plus uh, y square uh, minus uh, 2 and then uh, another bracket multiplied by x uh, square minus and then y square minus 2. And now let's focus on this part. Over here we could write this one as x square plus and since we have a plus sign outside so it's not going to make any difference. So we can write y square minus 2. And now we are going to multiply by x square and then we got a minus sign, so we have to be very careful. So minus, uh, and then this become y square, and this negative becomes uh, positive uh, 2. And these are our uh, complete uh, factors uh, 
for this given uh, expression. So thus after all the manipulations, uh, the complete factors for this given uh, expression uh, turns out to be x square plus y square minus 2 times x square minus y square plus 2. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.